Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Wobbly Games and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the top most anticipated video games coming out for early 2019. In this video I'll be covering when the game is going to be released, for what platform, and briefly what each game is about. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into the first game. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition the first game here guys is Tales of Asperia. it's a definitive edition, basically they added new mini games, bosses, costumes, and music and updates to graphics in the definitive edition. The game is based on a conflict between the civilization of the Blastia and the Empire who controls it. This game is available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch and will be available on January 10th. Next up guys we have New Super Mario Bros, one that I am super excited about. It's a remake which includes two of the Super Mario games in one. You're going to get the New Super Mario Bros U and the New Super Luigi U. It's of course a classic side-scrolling game where you are defending the Mushroom Kingdom and this game will be released on the Switch on January 11th and can have up to four players play it at a time. So definitely get your friends in for that one. Next up guys we have Onimusha Warlords. Remastered from a 2001 PlayStation game, Onimusha Warlords will be coming out for everything, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and the Switch on January 15th. The game is a fighting game which allows you to play as a samurai and work your way through enemies. The remastered version of it will include better graphics, new music, and remodeled characters. Next up we have a very exciting game, Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. Set to release on January 18th, Ace Combat 7 is a military-based game about the war between the country of Irusia and the Ocean Federation. You will get to fly fighter jets in this game and sneak through the skies to fight off enemy aircraft. The game is available for PS4, Xbox One, PC, and on virtual reality, which I'm sure will be really cool. Up next we have Travis Strikes Again. Travis Strikes Again is a Nintendo Switch game coming out on January 18th. The game is made up of 7 different games inside which Travis must defeat. There will be a boss at the end of each of these games which you will have to use your different skills and moves to defeat. Next up here guys is the well anticipated game, the remake of Resident Evil 2. That's right, this game is a full remake of Resident Evil 2 with a worldwide release date on January 25th. Resident Evil is a survival based horror game that takes place in a city during a zombie apocalypse. The game will be released for PlayStation 4, Windows and Xbox One and offers 4K enhancements and 60fps gameplay for the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. Next up we have Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a much anticipated RPG and the next game in a series that started on the PlayStation 2. Although Kingdom Hearts is a very complex plot, it will feature lots of opportunities for people who are new at the game to learn about the storyline so they won't be confused, so great for new people to hop right on this game. The game will be released for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on January 29th. Next up is Crackdown 3. Already delayed in June from the third quarter release in 2018, it's looking like it'll be coming out in February 2019, or at least we're hoping so. Crackdown 3 is an action-adventure game that will now allow for everything in the world to be destroyed, making it a whole lot of fun. It is said to be released on Xbox One and PC on February 15th. Far Cry New Dawn Far Cry New Dawn is a first-person shooter game which is a spin-off in the Far Cry series. This game will feature an open-world environment that you can explore through vehicles or by walking. It will be released for Xbox One, PC, and PlayStation 4, and also on February 15th, so you might want to take that day off because there's a lot of good games coming out. Next up is Metro Exodus. Speaking of taking the day off, you might seriously want to consider it if you are a PC gamer as Metro Exodus will be also releasing on February 15th. The game takes place in Moscow and throughout other places in Russia with a post-apocalyptic theme. It is a sandbox game which allows you to explore the wilderness and try to survive throughout the entire experience. Next up is Anthem. Anthem is a multiplayer game being released on February 22nd. It's a third person shooter with an open world environment which can be used with up to three additional online players. The game will be available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. Next up is Devil May Cry 5. Devil May Cry 5 is the next action adventure based game in the Devil May Cry series. This is a fast paced game where the player must defeat demons using stylish moves and different weapons. The game will be available on March 8th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 The Division 2 is an action role-playing game which takes place in Washington. The game is based around players working together to complete objectives in a civil war. The game will be released on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC on March 15th. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is another action-adventure game that will be released on March 22nd. It's a third-person game which has a character creation and allows you to fight your enemies with a katana. 
There is an aspect of exploration involved as well as classes and equipment upgrades. This game will be released on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Next up we have Mortal Kombat 11. It will not be released until April but I decided to cover it anyway because I'm so excited about it. Mortal Kombat 11 is a fighting game where two opponents must challenge each other to a battle. There's a premium and a standard edition available for the game and they both are available for pre-order today. The game will be releasing on April 11th through PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I really did want to make it quick and concise. I will leave a link to all of these trailers down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out if you want to go in more in depth about any of these games. But for right now, that is going to end the video for today. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to go in below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video.